CompTIA A+, Core 2, Complete Training Course. Exam Objective 3.5, Given a Scenario, Troubleshoot Common Mobile OS and Application Security Issues. Welcome to our last stop in Domain 3, Software Troubleshooting. In this video, we'll tackle some of the most important aspects of mobile OS security. Our mobile devices are powerful, handy, and unfortunately, prime targets for malware, spyware, and other nasty threats. From app spoofing to data leaks, the security risks are real. So let's explore these concerns, learn how to spot warning signs, and troubleshoot these issues like a pro. Let's begin by looking at some of the common security concerns that make mobile OS security a challenge. Understanding these risks is crucial for protecting both the device and its data, whether it's for personal use or professional settings. Starting off, we have APK source concerns. For Android users, apps are generally downloaded from the Google Play Store, which screens apps for security threats. However, Android also allows users to sideload APK files, installing apps from sources outside the Play Store. To break it down, APK stands for Android Package Kit. It's the file format that Android uses to distribute and install applications. Think of it like an installer file that includes all the components needed for an app to run. When you download an app from the Google Play Store, the APK file is automatically installed in the background, with security checks already in place. But with sideloading, you're manually downloading the APK from a third-party site and bypassing the Play Store entirely. Sideloading is often used to access apps that aren't available on the Play Store, sometimes because they're region-restricted, still in beta, or offer features not allowed under Google's policies. While sideloading opens up additional app options, it comes with significant security risks. Unlike apps on the Play Store, these third-party APKs haven't been through Google's security screening process which means they can easily contain hidden malware or malicious code designed to compromise the device, steal data, or install unwanted software. For security-conscious users, it's generally safest to stick to the official app store, while sideloading should be avoided unless absolutely necessary, and even then, you should only use trusted sources. Next up, developer mode. Many mobile OSs offer a developer mode, intended to give more control over the device's settings, often for debugging or testing purposes. However, enabling developer mode can make a device more vulnerable, as it bypasses certain default security restrictions. While it's a powerful tool for developers, users should be cautious enabling this setting, especially if they aren't sure how to manage the security trade-offs. Moving on, we have root access for Android and jailbreaking for Apple iOS. These are both modifications that allow users to access the device's root or core system files, effectively unlocking the device's full potential. Although it sounds exciting, this process bypasses critical security layers and makes the device more susceptible to malware and unauthorized access. In professional settings, this is a big no-no. For that reason, many companies rely on MDM, or mobile device management systems, to prevent employees from rooting or jailbreaking their devices ensuring that these modifications don't pose a security threat to the company. Another risk is installing bootleg or malicious applications. These are typically low-cost or free versions of popular apps offered by shady sources to avoid paying for the legitimate versions. Often, these apps are designed to mimic the look and feel of real apps, but may come with hidden malware. Just note that bootleg apps can harm devices by tracking user activity, stealing data, or allowing hackers to control the device remotely, so be careful. Closely related is application spoofing. This is when a malicious app imitates the name, look, or features of legitimate apps to trick users into downloading it. Common signs of application spoofing include slightly misspelled app names or a ton of fake, five-star reviews that often sound too good to be true. Even if an app is on an approved store, it's wise to check the developer's name for legitimacy especially if the app is unfamiliar. Security-conscious users know that some imposters can slip through App Store defenses, so a bit of caution goes a long way. Now that we've covered security concerns, let's move on to the warning signs and common symptoms of mobile OS security issues. These symptoms, or clues, can help you identify when something's off with a device, indicating that further investigation is needed. High on the list of warning signs is high network traffic. If your device suddenly starts using more data than usual, 
it may have a fraudulent app running in the background. This is a classic sign of a compromised device. Malware types like spyware, adware, or botnet software often stay hidden while consuming data to transmit information. To troubleshoot, check your device's data usage to identify any suspicious or unfamiliar apps consuming excessive data, and if found, uninstall them immediately. Next, running a security scan with antivirus software can help detect hidden threats. Additionally, restricting background data for non-essential apps can further secure your device against unauthorized data usage. Keeping in line with high network traffic, be on the lookout for data usage, limit notifications, as these can indicate a potential security issue. If your device hits its data cap and suddenly can't access emails or the internet, though calls and texts still work, a compromised application may be using data in the background, or malware could be generating high data use to overload your device. To troubleshoot, start by reviewing your data usage. Check for apps with unusually high data consumption. You should also uninstall any suspicious apps, as they may be using data without permission. Next, update your OS and apps to close security gaps, and run a security scan with a trusted mobile antivirus. If issues persist, perform a factory reset to clear harmful apps. Just be sure to back up any important data first, as this will erase all personal files. Another common symptom to look out for is sluggish response times. If the device feels unusually slow, it could be a result of malware quietly using up system resources. Once malware becomes embedded on your device, it can consume memory, processing power, and even battery life, leading to a device that feels like it's constantly lagging or struggling to keep up. You might notice extended load times, delays when switching apps, or even difficulty handling basic tasks like opening messages or browsing the web. These signs can all indicate that malicious software is running in the background, draining resources, and potentially collecting sensitive information. To troubleshoot, begin by restarting the device, as this can temporarily halt malware processes and free up resources. Next, review running apps and processes in your settings. Suspicious or unfamiliar applications consuming significant memory or CPU might be to blame. Uninstall any unfamiliar or recently installed apps that seem suspicious, as malware often hides in seemingly legitimate programs. Updating the operating system and applications is another key step, as it closes security gaps that malware may exploit. Running a security scan with a trusted mobile antivirus can help detect and remove malicious software. If these steps don't resolve the issue, a factory reset may be necessary to restore the device to its original settings and eliminate the malware. Again, remember to back up your data first. If you are experiencing limited or no internet connectivity, this can indicate a security issue as well. Common causes of this issue include malware that has altered network settings, disabled essential system services, or is interfering with the firewall. In some cases, malware may cause excessive background data usage, blocking normal internet access. Additionally, DNS corruption or redirection attacks can also contribute to connectivity issues by rerouting URL requests to malicious sites. To troubleshoot, start by restarting both your device and router to refresh the connection. Review network settings, including DNS and proxy configurations, and reset them to default if you notice unfamiliar entries. Ensure your OS and apps are updated to close security gaps that malware could exploit. Run a security scan with a trusted antivirus to identify potential infections. Switching to a trusted DNS server may also help. As a last step, if connectivity problems continue, a factory reset may be required to remove embedded malware. Another telltale sign of malware is fake security warnings. These warnings usually come with aggressive pop-ups, urging users to download a security app or antivirus tool, which is in fact, malware disguised as protection software. The scare tactics are designed to create a sense of urgency, prompting users to take immediate action without verifying the legitimacy of the warning. Once downloaded, this malicious software can cause even more harm, from data theft to further infection of the device. To troubleshoot, start by closing any suspicious pop-ups without clicking on them. Uninstall any recently added or unfamiliar apps, especially security apps you didn't intentionally install. Then run a security scan with a trusted antivirus app to detect and remove malicious software. As a last resort, perform a factory reset to remove any embedded malware. 
Unexpected application behavior is another major warning sign. If an app suddenly starts opening on its own, showing bizarre graphics, crashing all the time, or freezing for no reason, it might be more than just buggy code, it could be malware. Sometimes, these oddities happen when malware is hiding in an app or when the app itself is a bootleg copy designed to worm its way into your device's controls. This type of malware may snoop around your data, monitor your activities, or even try to gain system-level access. If you haven't already noticed, the troubleshooting process for all these issues is pretty similar with just a few tweaks. You might even be able to guess what's coming next, but just to be thorough, here's the troubleshooting breakdown once again. To troubleshoot your possessed app, start by closing it if it's currently open and acting strangely. Uninstall any unfamiliar or recently installed apps that you didn't intentionally add, as they could be causing the issue. After removing any suspicious apps, restart your device to ensure no residual processes are running. Run a security scan with a trusted antivirus to check for any embedded malware. Also, make sure your OS and all apps are updated. And if these attempts at an app exorcism don't do the trick, consider a factory reset to remove deeply embedded malware. Lastly, one of the most alarming signs of malware is when personal files or data is leaked or shared without your permission. If you notice that photos, contacts, messages, or other sensitive information has been accessed or shared without your authorization, it could indicate a serious data breach. This can occur if malware is actively harvesting data from your device or if compromised credentials have allowed someone unauthorized access to your accounts. In either case, it's a clear warning that your security has been breached and immediate action is required. To troubleshoot and secure your data, start by changing passwords on affected accounts, replacing them with strong, complex, unique passwords. Enabling multi-factor authentication, MFA, wherever possible, adds an extra layer of protection by requiring an additional verification step, even if a password is compromised. Next, review account activity to check for unauthorized logins or suspicious actions, such as login attempts from unfamiliar locations or devices. If you find any, log out of all active sessions immediately. Run a security scan on your device using a trusted antivirus or anti-malware app to detect and remove any malicious software that might be collecting or sharing your data. Additionally, revoke app permissions for any apps that don't need access to your personal files particularly photos, contacts, and messages. And finally, ensure that OS and app updates are installed to protect against vulnerabilities that malware might exploit. As we wrap up Domain 3, remember that mobile OS and application security issues are critical topics for both the exam and real-world troubleshooting. Spotting symptoms and understanding the root cause of an issue can save a device from major damage and keep personal data secure. From knowing the dangers of sideloaded APKs and spoofed apps to recognizing warning signs like sluggish performance, you now have a basic toolkit for handling mobile security issues. And with that, congratulations on completing Domain 3. Stay sharp, and be sure to keep these skills handy as you move forward in your CompTIA A+, Core 2, learning journey. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.